Hi, this is a lead code question from John. Uh, this is the third question of Pi Weekly Contest number 93. You are given a zero indexed integer array stones sorted in a strictly increasing order representing the positions of stone in a river. A frog initially on the first uh, stone wants to travel to the last of stone and then return to the first one. However, it can jump to any stone at most once. The length of uh, jump is uh, absolute difference between the position of uh, the stone the frog is currently on and the position of the stone to which the frog jumps. More formally, if the frog is at stone i and is jumping to stone j, the length of jump is the absolute value of uh, the difference and the cost of a path is the maximum length of a jump among all jumps in the path retain the minimum cost of uh, a path for the frog so in this example uh, the frog always at uh, the beginning or at the first stones and uh, uh, it has to reach the end find the end uh, stone or the last stone and return back to the first uh, stone without without jumping to the same stones uh, uh, more than once and the answer will be the maximum jump during that path so in this path the answer is uh, the maximum is five so this is uh, the best answer we can get and so this is the best path uh, because the cost of this path is uh, the max jump which is equal to 5 and that's the minimum value for example if the frog uh, wants to take another path which is jump directly to the uh, last uh, stone and return back to the first stone directly the uh, cost will be 7 which is higher than 5 so this is the best answer here is another uh, example uh, the frog can start from or must start from uh, stone zero and it goes to the last stone then another jump to uh, the first uh, stone and the cost of this uh, path is the maximum of these jumps which is uh, nine Note that if the frog uh, wants to do another path, which is jumping to the second one, which cost 3, then jump to the last one, which cost 6, and return back to the first stone, and that's cost 9. So again, the answer will be uh, 9. So how can we solve uh, this problem? Uh, so always the frog must be on the first uh, stone now if the frog frog for example wants to uh, jump to take this path the solution will be uh, or the answer will be uh, uh, the maximum because the jump is uh, very huge and this is uh, not solution because we need the maximum jump to be uh, minimized and note that if the frog jump to follow this path jump to every neighbor uh, uh, stone at the end here let's say while coming back if the frog reach to this node or to this stone and now it cannot uh, jump to the neighbor stone because it cannot jump to the same stone twice and that means it has to uh, go directly to the first stone because it cannot jump to this stone and this stone and that means this jump uh, length is also uh, increased and we can optimize this by uh, making the frog uh, jump uh, skip only one uh, one stone so for example we start from zero and if we do while loop in each uh, iteration uh, start i equal zero and we increase i 
by 2 for every iteration until uh, i plus 2 uh, less than number of uh, stones so we start from stone 0 this means that uh, we skip the first uh, this is stone this is i plus uh, 2 because the indexes of this stone are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so i plus uh, 2 0 plus 2 is 2 it come to this stone then 2 plus 2 equal 4 it will jump to this stone then 4 plus 2 equal 6 so it skips at every jump it skips one uh, stone and here i plus 2 which is 6 plus 2 is greater than 7 uh, or 8 uh, so 6 plus 2 is not less than uh, 8 the number of nodes and that means we have to stop here and notice while doing this jump we calculate also the difference so the difference for this jump is uh, 7 for this one is uh, 2 for this one 16 minus 11 equal uh, 16 minus 11 equal 5 and so here we the condition break what we need to do is uh, to do to reach to the end the last stone by doing one jump so i plus uh, one and then from the end we need to uh, do another iteration in which we do i minus 2 in each jump so starting from here 7 minus 2 equal 5 so it will jump to this stone skipping this one and this is already the frog jump to it and then it's going to uh, this stone 5 minus 2 equal 3 this index 3 then 3 minus 2 equal 1 and the, the loop will be until uh, i minus 2 is greater than equal uh, to 0 now here i equal 1 1 minus 2 is minus 1 it's not greater than or equal to 0 so we know here we have to stop and do uh, only one uh, jump and while doing this uh, iterations we calculate also the length of uh, each uh, jump in this case it's uh, uh, 6 20 minus uh, 14 is 6 uh, 14 minus uh, 9 is 5 9 minus 2 is uh, 7 2 minus 0 is uh, 2 and the, the answer will be uh, the maximum of all of these uh, jump which is uh, 7 now notice that the number of uh, stones here are 2, 4, 6, 8 which is uh, uh, even now if we have uh, odd number of stones again we start from uh, stone 0 and we do iteration by doing i plus 2 and that means we will go to uh, skip a stone the same way so this plus 2 we'll go to this stone then to this stone then to this stone then to this stone and remember our condition is i plus 2 must be less than uh, n now we reach uh, the last stone so we need to check if we reach the last stone and that means that we cannot do i minus 2 
what we will do at the beginning we will do a small jump with one stone then this is i minus one then again we will iterate using i minus uh, two so we will jump to this this is uh, i minus two i minus two i minus two now here it again uh, i minus two must be greater than or equal zero and here the condition break so we know that we need to do only one jump so let's look at the implementation so this is the in the number of uh, stones we will store the answer in uh, this variable and here our the frog initially at uh, i equal zero and we iterate using uh, i plus two until the number of or i plus two is less than the number of uh, stones and while iterating we uh, get the uh, difference or if, or the length of uh, the jump and check if it's greater than uh, the answer then we store it in the answer so this loop will do uh, will will make the frog jumps from uh, stone to uh, and skip one stone and at the end as we said we need to do uh, answer equal max uh, of answer and uh, this is small jump jump at the end remember when if when it was uh, even here we stopped and we have to do one jump and also when it was uh, odd we reached the final but while coming back also we need to do one jump this is why here uh, we do uh, uh, take the, uh, the, the this this jump from uh, the last stone to the stone uh, before it or to the previous uh, stone now if i equal minus two uh, i plus plus and that's because uh, if if it's even we will stop here but we need to reach the fire the last uh, stone so if uh, this is i minus uh, or n minus two if the frog is here when it means that we, we need to uh, uh, increase i by one and we already calculated uh, or involved this jump into an our, our answer here so i plus plus else if if it it reach uh, uh, the last stone we need to do i minus uh, one which is this uh, jump and uh, the calculation for the jump is already covered in here and we need to return back to the first uh, stone by iterating using i minus two in each uh, jump and again we uh, involve the length of the jump in to our uh, answer now here if i equal one it means that uh, we are here uh, answer equal L, uh, stone of one minus stone of uh, zero which is this uh, jump actually you can uh, remove uh, this if statement and just keep it like this and that because it's always returned to uh, this stone 